Layers are vital to making sure your elements are in the appropriate space, um, whether they're below or above each other. Um, I'm going to do a quick example showing our using layers and using our masking technique. Um, to do this, I'm going to actually grab a shape. Um, and in our case, we're going to use this heart here. So I'll put the heart over here. Um, and I'm going to also grab an image. Um, I already preloaded these to flowers. And I'm going to grab this cherry blossoms flower. So now I have the image and I have my, my uh, vector design here. So what I want to do is I actually want to uh, mask this so that the flowers appear inside of this black area of the heart. Um, so first, on the first glance, I would take this heart and I'd put it above this, but I can't see exactly how it's going to come out, right? So for instance, if I just tried to mask this right now, you'd see that I'm getting a lot of white towards the top here. And that's not good. So I'm going to actually undo that, clicking our undo button here. And instead, I want to rearrange the layers. So I'm going to go to layers, and I'm going to actually take the shape. I'm going to click on the, the little icon of it. I'm going to drag it above the, the um, image layer. Now you'll see it's on top. Uh, at this point, I'm going to take this heart. I'm going to put it over in the pink area. I'm actually make it a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe not that big. OK. And now I want to mask. So to mask the image into this shape, you got to always click on the image. Click the image up on your toolbar here. You're going to click the mask button. And then you select which element you want to mask it with. And in our case, I'm going to click this shape. And it made into the heart. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to actually bring it up. And we're just going to resize it. I'm going to just put it right below that for our design. And that's how you use the layers.